Hi everyone, uh, so this video is going to be about how you can uh, switch from uh, Google Forms to a uh, Lime Survey in the sense that, uh, okay, how can you do the same thing as you do within a Google Forms within a Lime Survey? So I'm not going to go through the installation of a uh, Lime Survey. Uh, the idea of this tutorial came after seeing uh, once more one of my uh, students uh, using uh, Google Forms and, and sending, let's say, all this uh, brilliant work directly to a uh, Google Whereas. Uh, this work should belong, let's say, uh, to the public sector or at least to the higher uh, education. Uh, here I think that the responsibility belongs, of course, to the universities in order to set uh, different instances showing uh, how um, students can use uh, free software rather than a GAFAM solution. So what we're going to do within this tutorial is explaining how we can do something uh, similar to this. So this is a Google form within a Lime survey. Uh, so I'm just going to have a couple of fields that you can see over here and I will uh, publish the form and then start to uh, measure the, let's say, the different data which are collected by uh, the, the form. So, um, as I said, I'm not going to describe uh, how to install the instance, so I will consider that you already have an instance of Lime Server running. If not, uh, you can use the cloud of Lime Server or you can install it uh, locally or on any server that you want. Okay, uh, first thing first, uh, that's the home. Uh, and that's the home page of Lime Survey. So of course, you need to click over here, and then uh, you need to create uh, a new survey over here. So in my case, I already created. So I'm just going to give it like a second name. Uh, so this is the name of your survey. So in my case, I'm just going to call it. Uh, I'm just going to put it in English. Uh, registration Congress registration. Okay, like this will be uh, different. The base of language will be English. I'm just going to select English over here. Uh, okay, done. Um, then about the description, from what I read, this is just for you and Lime Service. You don't need to fill this one in. Uh, then dealing with the uh, introduction text. Here it is. Okay, when they say welcome message, it refers to the first message that people will see. Okay, so not a question. Here I will just uh, let it in French in order to, uh, to go faster. Um, I will come back later on to the design of this part because you will see that by default it's going to pick up uh, the template of Lime Survey, which is uh, in a green color, which may not match uh, your preferences. Okay. Uh, then once you do so, you can directly click on save, doesn't really matter. Um, the only thing, but I will come back later on to it, is how you would like the question to be displayed. Okay, uh, once you create, let's say, the first part over here, I will come back as well to the image. Uh, what you need next is to add some questions. So in order to add some questions, you need to go over here, but it won't let you uh, move forward before you create a question group. So if I click over here, you see nothing's going to happen. So I go over here and I create uh, a question group. So add a new group. Here, the new group is going to expect the value as a title. Okay, so that's something which does not appear over here on the Google form, but uh, Lime Survey expects to have a title over here. So I'm just going to call it questions as it just makes sense. Okay, then you can save and add your first question. Um, then Lime Survey is going to expect to have a code over here. Um, so you can put whatever you want as far as it's not just a, a full number. So in my case, I'm just going to call it like as you run. Uh, and then the question. So the question here is the name of the person. So I'm just going to go for name. Um, here you can select what kind of type uh, it is. So in my case, that's just a short free text. I'm just going to select it like this. And uh, you can uh, save and go for another one. Okay, so I'm going to go to the next one, which is about the email address. So this one is going to be as well a02 and email. Uh, when it's compulsory, you can just tick this one up. Okay, so you go over here and this is short, blah, 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 select, you save a new. Uh, next is about organization, so it's exactly the same thing. It's just that I need to go to S03. Organization, it's mandatory as well. And it's a short free text. Damn, damn. Okay, so far that was easy. 
Uh, this one is a bit more complicated. So it means to which day will you um, will you come? So uh, to uh, which day will you attend? Okay, something like this. So here that's a multiple choice. Uh, so you go for uh, multiple uh, single choice question arrays. Um, Ask questions. Well, sorry for this. Just uh, that the uh, display to me is a bit different than the one in French. So uh, okay, it's mandatory. And what's gonna happen now? I'm just gonna check if no, it's not over here. Does it? So uh, you go here for save because the thing is that here you need to add some answers and within. Uh, uh, Lime survey, you cannot add them directly when you add the question. And this is where the magic happens. And this is where you need to say day one, then day two, then day three, day three. Okay, oops, day, day three. So I think that the exercise that I'm showing you here is kind of fun because uh, that's the best way that you can start to learn Lime survey. It's just pick up an existing survey which exists, for example, on uh, Google Forms and try to uh, replicate it. Uh, so we can go for add a new question. Uh, this means like, uh, let's say, I'm going to call it like diet preferences. Diet preferences. Okay, and then that's as well. Uh, this one is a single choice question. Uh, it's a radio list. I select it. It's mandatory, and we go exactly through the same process again. So I need to add some answer, and uh, sorry for that. Just need to say like meat only, vegetarian. Apps, vegetarian. Sorry for the typo, and uh, let's say vegan. Um, here I'm just gonna change it back because I need as well um, to add the others uh, group. Oops, I'm gonna go for here, and I'm gonna say it accepts others. Okay, save and close. Uh, last but not least is um, the agreement to pay. Um, so I go over here. And I say the add a question and a 06. Probably there's a feature uh, ready to pay. Probably there's a, a feature to automatically increment this one. I have not yet found it. Um, and it's um, it's uh, I think it's a multiple choice, even if it's uh, made of only one value Oops. and it's um, something like this yes uh, save and let's see if I get a warning no I don't okay uh, at this step I can preview the survey so this is how it looks like and as you can see it's it's not really what I expected right I mean I get the question by one side and I get uh, the rest on the other side, which is not what I want. So now I'm going to go uh, within the uh, general settings and I'm going to change that by all in one. If I save like this, all in one means that uh, you're going to get all in one. Um, so I'm going to go back over here and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, I'm kind of happy I'm getting exactly what I want. Uh, now, as you can see, it's ugly, so I'm going to change it. Uh, for example, here I don't have the picture, I have the logo over here, I have as well this text in green, so uh, let's change that out. So you go within the, uh, in my case, I'm going to go things first. So uh, let's go within the presentation. No, that wasn't text element, sorry for that. Uh, text element. So here, uh, what do I want? I want this text to be in the color of the Google form. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pick up the color. Oops. Here, the color is this one. Oops. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this given color by going over here and say I want more colors. I want this given color. 
Okay, and that should be all right. I don't want this text to be in bold as well, so I'm gonna change it like this. Uh, I'm gonna save it. Um, I need as well to have my picture, which is should be over here. So I'm gonna select uh, here, browse the server. Um, I don't have it already. Well, that's that's not good. Okay. Um, okay, now you have it. So I double click on it and now you have my picture. Okay, great, lovely. Um, go on save. Okay, now I can just refresh the page. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so now I get the Congress registration. I get my. Okay, uh, this one, if you think that this is too long, uh, as it is here, as you can see, it's. Um, this is control, this is perfect. So you go over here, uh, you tick up the name and you say this is the length of the field display and you say that should be um, text box width. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, because I had the feeling that in the French version I did not have this uh, this part. I was using this one in explaining the number of characters that we want to have. So let's uh, let's have a look about what it looks like if I say 50%. Okay, so it's just going to take 50%. Okay, so this is how you can adjust it. Um, now let's go for, uh, like, um, you see this is in, in green. Let's see if we can change it. I get my logo as well. So you need to go within the time option. Here, inherit everything means that it's going to uh, take the template by default and apply everything according to it. If you click on no, then uh, you get uh, more chance to uh, design what you want. So here, font color, I'm going to change the layout. I'm going to use the same font color as before. Um, I don't want to have the logo, so I'm going to go down and I have something which is about the logo. Background image, logo, I don't want the logo uh background image file background image maybe i can change the background color because i have the feeling that here on the google uh forms i'm getting this kind of color let's see if i can get it up flex column um <laughs> okay uh, i cannot pick it up easily so let's uh let's see if we have like a like a css file or something font Okay, texts. Uh, let's see if I have a background color over here. Uh, seems like it's. Well, it seems I'm good, not gonna pick up, but we can see that it's kind of beige, I would say. So uh, let's uh, let's try to pick up a beige uh, over here. Why? Wow, okay, this one. Okay, so I pick up this one, this one, uh, the icon. I'm gonna. I don't know if I can. I don't know if the icon can be changed or anything like this. To me, this icon belongs to the instance. So I'm not 100% sure that we can change it. But anyway, let's give it a try. So I just change it. I just refresh my page. OK, so now I'm getting something uh, that I start to like. Uh, this has not been changed. Probably there's a something else that we need to change. I don't know where it is uh, because these are for remark. Uh, by the way, I could technically leave out uh, the remark if I want. That's probably not what you what you want, but um, I guess there's a feature in order to do that. That's probably worth uh, worth the search. Uh, gonna take like diode preference. That's probably so diode preference. Uh, let's imagine that I want to leave out the remark part. Oh, that's the help part. Okay. Uh, option dealing with the help. I think uh, display the help hide tip. Um, hide tip. Yes, I would like to hide it. So that will be one way. The other way, I guess, will be to uh, change to change uh, the. Okay, so here it has been hidden. But if I was playing like this, I say, okay, I want to have it on, like uh, I tips off, so it would have been displayed. And then maybe I can play like this. 
I say I can take this one. I think it's gonna keep it in green anyway. Uh, but I could definitely go over here, have it on, and then uh, look for the colors uh, over here, and then go for more colors. Pick up the one that I want. Let's imagine this one, and I could. Maybe I could change it. Okay, so that will work well. Oh, that's not the same one. Okay, sorry for that. Oh, diet, check all that. Okay. Um, well, as you can see, I messed it up here. So I'm just gonna uh, hide it anyway. So probably there's a feature within the theme in order to, to change the green color for the help section. Okay, uh, anyway, here I have uh, something that, that I wanted, which kind of look like uh, the one that I have here. So then it's a matter of course of, of fonts and, and so on and so forth. Uh, let's go now for uh, the, um, for publishing our, our work. So I'm gonna go for, uh, yep, sorry for that. I'm gonna go over here, okay. Uh, so now let's imagine that I'm, I'm ready. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, go back over here in the overview and I'm just gonna say activate this survey. Okay, here's gonna ask me additional question like, okay, if you do so, well, you don't have the possibility to come back um, in the past, okay.